Hello everyone and welcome back to Darkest Explorers Death Society. Sadly, that title could apply to either game at the moment, couldn't it? Um, let's see what we got going on here. I still need more uh, bus if we want to get that, that building I was talking about last time. We could use more of everything else as well, so there, there's lots to think about. We already got our characters that we wanted. Yes, that's right. I remember that. We picked up our first Arbalist. I'm very excited about that. We should probably go ahead and do a run with that Arbalist. Um, unfortunately, I've not picked up another Occultist yet. I love the Occultist. One of my favorite classes. Um, probably my third favorite. Maybe even my second. Uh, it's probably tied with Bounty Hunter for my second. And we haven't got another one yet, so that's unfortunate. But uh, that's okay. We do have lots of monies, lots and lots of monies, so we should probably think about uh, trying to switch up skills uh, and make sure we got all the skills we want. So for our Arbalist, we have Sniper Shot, it's a great skill, uh, great accuracy, good crit, extra damage versus marked targets. It's, it's great. Suppressing Fire debuffs the targets, doesn't do much damage, but it can hit all three people in the back row, so it's nice for finishing people off. A uh, sniper's mark is a mark and minus 20 dodge, so it, it, it's nice. It doesn't do any damage, but it's nice. I do like Bola. Knockback one on the t on the front two people is great. We will grab that. Blind fire can be very nice. It's one of the few ways for the Arbalist to hit the front row. Um, battlefield bandage is nice, but not required, especially if you have another healer. And Rallying Flare is insanely good against specific bosses, and I would like to show that off at some point. Uh, but it is not much use if you don't play against those specific bosses. So we will grab that, but we probably will not equip it right now. Uh, for now, let's take off Battlefield Bandage and grab Bola. And uh, we'll stick with that for now. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um, wow. Triage is a really good camping skill. All companions heal 35% HP. That's pretty awesome, but uh, we'll, we'll work on that a little bit later. Um, who else are we going to take on this mission? Probably Moon Moon. I do want to take Moon Moon. Let's take a look at his skills. Uh, he does not have the skills I would want. Let us fix that. Uh, he does have a mark, which is kind of nice and works well with the Arbalist. And it does do a little bit of damage, too, which is interesting. I might hold on to that just because it works well with the Arbalist. Withstand is nice for reducing stress. Revenge is good, but I'm not going to hold on to it for now. Instead, let's take Hue, because Hue is incredible. Urge is also really good. Good all corpses, knock back the front, person 3. That's really nice. Let's take both of those. And we will drop Revenge and Withstand. For those two. Okay. Uh, how about Vabadon? Do we want Vabadon? I could take Guyat. I haven't taken Guyat anywhere yet. If I was gonna take Vabadon, I would like Zealous Accusation. But that's the only one he doesn't have. So let's just grab that. That's the only one he doesn't have that I really want, at least. Uh, this other stuff is good, there's no doubt, but uh, Zealous Accusation is one of the ones that I really won't take a Crusader unless he has it. Uh, it's just too good. Self Mark, that's not bad, gives some protection. But I think Holy Lance might be better. It would take Moon Moon out of the first slot, which we don't want. So never mind, let's drop that and take Zealous Accusation. And we'll probably also take one of the Houndmasters. He, one of them does have Cry Havoc, so I'll probably end up taking that one. Uh, Cry Havoc is really, really, really good. And plus 4 speed on the first round is a, a very nice... Oh, although the 5 accuracy and 2 speed is great. Uh, no, we're going to take this guy, Durandal. Uh, Durandal is really, really strong just from his basic buffs. We'll, we had the money. We'll go ahead and uh, get him the skills I want. In this case, that would be Hounds Harry, Cry Havoc. And we're going to put him in the third slot. 
Hound's Rush is good there. Target Whistle is good. Guard Dog is good. Cry Havoc is good. Uh, Blackjack is not, however, so we'll take those. That'll be fine. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that team. Let's see if there's any trinkets we would like to give them. Houndmaster only. 4 dodge, 1 speed. Minus 20% debuff resist. That's fine. And I don't know if I want the 20% extra stress. But 25 scouting chance is really good. So let's go ahead and, and risk it. We'll see how it goes. Nothing here for Moon Moon. Uh, we do have the Vengeful Greaves for uh, Torment. And nothing for uh, Vabadon either. We could take the uh, Hero's Ring. We are going to do that. We're going to take the Hero's Ring and the Dodge Stone off of Quincy. Theoretically, it is a bad idea to leave stuff on people that are doing Strikes Relief because they can lose them uh, if bad events happen. I'm usually just too lazy to do so. But you should technically remove uh, all of their items before you put them in Stress Relief. It's the intelligent way to go. All right, and we don't want to lose that Hero's Ring. That's a very good item. Let's see what's in our trinket shop. Flagellant only. 33% healing skills, minus 50% bleed skill chance. That doesn't seem very good. Okay, whatever. Uh, anything else? Everyone looks pretty good except for Quincy, and he's working on his stress. Let's go on a mission. We will not go to the Darkest Dungeon. That's not on my list of things to do today. Uh, the Warrens might be nice. Yes, yes indeed. A uh, debuff amulet, plus 30% debuff skill chance, plus 30% debuff resist, and minus 4 dodge. That's not incredible, but it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Or 10% damage minus 4 dodge, I like that even worse. How about the wield here? Plus 5 accuracy, that is good. Uh, minus 2 dodge is worth it to get the plus 5 accuracy. Misses just destroy you in this game, you don't want to miss. Uh... 100% room battles, not too bad. Level 1 quest, let's go ahead and do that one. Moon Moon is going to go in the first slot. Uh, Vabadon will go in the second slot. Torment will put in the fourth slot. And Durandal is going to go in this third slot here. I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I actually like all these guys' names. Torment's a great name. Durandal is awesome. And we already renamed him, of course. Yeah, probably Vobadon. Vobadon's an interesting name. It's fun to say. Vobadon. Vobadon. Okay, uh, we are going to the Wield. Have we gone to the Wield before? No. We have never gone to the Wield. Okay, well, this is a great opportunity to introduce it then. The wheel is an area that is full of poison and um, and blight. Lots of pigs, if I'm recalling the, which one correctly. I, be, I believe that's this one. This is a short mission. We will just take probably eight torches. will be plenty. Take a couple keys. Those are always useful. A couple shovels, always useful. We'll take 12 food, which should be more than enough. Don't really need any holy waters. We'll try to remember to use our dog biscuits. Uh, we will take one bandage. Oh, we already have one bandage. Never mind. We'll take zero more bandages. An extra medicinal herb, and you know we should take one extra advantage. There is a uh, an item that uses those in here, and then some ant venoms will be very very nice. Is that all I want? I think so. I think I'm happy with that. Let us embark. Wait till this loads here. Da, 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 Going to explore the darkest dungeon. I'm sure it will go well. Question mark. Maybe. Maybe it won't. We'll find out. It will be exciting. Hmm. Taking an, a long time to load here. Hopefully it's going to. There we go. Excellent. Let us the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Wow, three curios right in a row. Okay, let's go check it out. That's what we're here for. 
Ah, and we immediately have a, uh, a curio here. Now this is a an effigy of some sort, I suppose, would would be the best way to uh, describe it. Now these this play this thing can give you a um, possibility of a positive quirk, I believe, possibility of a negative quirk, I think. Uh, most often it gives you nothing, as far as I recall. Uh, but we can use holy water on it, so let's do that. Who would we like to uh, to enhance here? I think the leper. Runes Explorer. All right. So using holy water on this effigy will, I believe, always give you a positive quirk of some sort. So it is nice to bring holy waters. I'm, I actually should have brought more than one. That was uh, silly of me. Ah, a tree stump. So the tree stump uh, is has like these mushrooms around it, which should indicate that uh, perhaps it has some uh, some poison or something, and that is a hint to use an anti venom. So let's go ahead and take a look. I believe that just, this just gives us um, yeah, excuse me. I believe this just gives us treasure, and that's it. Oh, and a shovel. Okay, sure, we'll take a shovel. Why not? Oh wow, another effigy right away, and we are out of holy waters already. Uh, I could risk this, I could risk this anyway. Let's go ahead and do it, you never know. Another positive perk, excellent. Uh, that has been very good for us already. Skilled gambler, increased chance of winning while gambling. Nice, okay. That was a nice little uh, hallway for us. And we did manage to surprise the doggies. Excellent, these guys are annoying. Uh, they do a lot of damage, they do a lot of bleed. And in general, we don't like them. 10 damage. Ah, oh, dodge. Wow. Alright. Let's try a uh, hue, perhaps? Uh, unlikely to get the kill if we do that. This is very likely to get the kill, though. Another Indeed. Abomination cleansed from our lands. Uh, sniper shot? 4 to 9 damage. How about blind fire? Also 4 to 9 damage. Bola is not going to help us here. Yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, sniper shot. At least gets him low. And uh, we can probably finish off with this zealous accusation. Alright, we're only going to take one hit this this uh, combat. Not too bad. And he resisted the bleed anyway. Very nice. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. That was quite a bit of gold. 1350 gold from that encounter. Not bad. And nothing in this room. Now this is the do 100% do of the room battles. Ah, there is no room battle over here. Excellent. That means we can avoid it and just go straight up. Glad to know that. Uh, that's that trinket from the uh, Houndmaster probably coming in handy already. Okay. And here we are introduced to the ectoplasms. We have not run into an ectoplasm yet. This is the first time. Uh, ectoplasms are extremely frustrating. They have an ability that basically makes another ectoplasm or can make a large ectoplasm in some cases. Getting rid of these guys early is nice, but you don't want this guy to hang around either because he will make you all stressed. So uh, there is kind of a, a difficult a difficult balance to be struck there. I think I'm just going to target whistle the witch and hope the arbalist goes before it does. I don't think that's going to be true. Nope, there we go. Uh, but I was going to take the chance. Nice hue here. Oh, wow, double miss. That was unfortunate. Okay, so now we can do um, Sniper Shot. Extra damage versus marked. And minimum damage, really? Wow, that was uh, disappointing. That could have one-shot it. We're going to get hit by a couple slimes here. Uh, Zealous Accusation. Very nice. A, a nice Hound's Rush. Or Hound's Harry, I should say. Could actually finish off both of the ones in front. They resisted the bleed, so never mind. Bola. Bola will finish off these two. That's probably worth it. And actually, Moon Moon got to go before the uh got to go before the witch. So I think probably just intimidate. At least it does some damage. Uh, it's not gonna do enough though. Let's instead purge. That'll bring her to the front. Hopefully makes her a little bit less able to use her abilities. Yep, she has to push. That's not nearly as bad as her uh, her normal attacks, her normal stressful attack. Their formation is broken. Maintain the Alright, let's move our leper back into the front here. Excellent. 
and keep going. All right, bag, cool, loot, awesome. Oh, a journal page. Could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. My fears are confirmed. With our door torch doused by an errant spray of seawater, we were ambushed. Strange fish-like hominids ambushed us in the sudden darkness. A the pitch of the torch caught quickly, and I get glimpsed scaly appendages swinging crude weapons, glistening and barbed. They didn't last long with our torch rekindled. Alas, one bit me on the neck before I gutted it. The wound stingle stings and tingles strangely. Our uh, physic? Physic? Psych? Physics? Yeah, our physic. Told me to keep it clean and covered. Yeah, I'm sure that won't come back to bite you. Ha ha. Ha. That was funny. Okay, maybe it wasn't funny, but deal with it. Alright, our first room battle. Let's do it. Moving quickly along from our last conversation. Um, Hound's Rush might be nice. Won't get a kill. You know what? Maybe we should just mark again. Let's do that. Maybe the Arbalest can do a little better this time. And here's her chance. 7 to 15. Unlikely to get the kill, but you never know. The crit. Nice. Ah, uh, we could get a nice chop here. Might get a kill. Or we could just hew and let the Crusader finish up with his, uh, his AoE as well. I think we'll try that. Some monsters have high prot, which absorbs da attack damage. Dots ignore prot and are effective means to take down these highly armored opponents. Yes, thank you very much. We have actually run into some characters with prop before, but uh, this is the first one in the base game you typically run into. Uh, so they saved that tutorial for then. Reign of Blight is annoying, and both of us got blighted. And our Arbalist got disease. That's really unfortunate. Ten, minus 10% damage, minus 3 speed, minus 10% max XP. We will have to treat that when we get back to town. Don't let me forget about that. Don't want to go wandering around in, in a uh, dungeon with that still uh, on our Arbalist. Hound's Harry could be very good here. Eh, okay, well, at least it worked on the uh, brawler there. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Another Blight. Very unfortunate. Uh, yeah, Zell's Accusation's good here. And one more Hue. There we go. Give them no quarter. Huh, another Shovel. We've gotten a lot of Shovels. Okay, um, the the fountain. The fountain is good. The fountain's always good. The fountain reduces stress. Uh, however, I believe if you use holy water on it, it reduces more stress. Uh, but we don't actually have that much stress, so that's fine. And we don't have holy water. So, matters very little, doesn't it? Well, Another journal page. Measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I will return with Cuthbert's banner and Bolin's crossbow, as so as to honor them with a proper burial. I will leave what is left of the thrice dimmed Nazir and his trinkets to the swine folk. Perhaps they will build him the memorial he rightly deserves. Wow. Someone's a little upset. And we got another holy water. I do want that. And uh, I think I'm willing to leave this journal page behind in order to get it. Am I? Or would I rather have the journal page? I want them eventually, right? The light. The promise of safety. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave behind the journal page. It's the intelligent decision. Another torch, sure, we'll take that. I'm kind of hoping to run into another one of those effigies now because we did get another holy water. Uh, all right, Hounds Rush, perhaps. Sure, get that dog low. Dog on dog battle there. Uh, too bad he uh, did get to go before we could finish him off. He used basically the exact same attack we just used. I don't know if it's called the same or not, but it is basically the same attack. Although his is not AoE. I guess that's the difference. Q. Nice. We are getting a little low on health, but I brought up lots of food, so I should use that probably at some point, huh? There we go. Very nice. Pretty straightforward combat there. And remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, another room. We'll see if there's a uh, room battle in here or not. Let's heal a little bit before we go in. I do want to make sure I leave myself four food. 
Uh, that is the amount that I will require if there is a hunger event. So I want to make sure I leave that. No room battle. Okay. Only two rooms to go. Ah, our first shovel necessary. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Okay. There have been a lot more hallway battles than room battles in this uh, in this dungeon. Not a big deal. It's just interesting. Let's just go with a hue here, I guess. It's not going to do a lot against these guys, but I can't really reach anything else. I could knock back. Let's do that. Gives me access to uh, this acolyte a little bit better. Nice crit. Never mind. Now they're back in the same order they were, pretty much. And these guys will take a little bit to wipe out because they do have that high protection, but uh, I'm not really concerned about it either. I could try to poison them. That would help a little bit. Eh, okay. Ooh, a miss. The leper does miss a lot. That is his uh, downside. You know, every character has to have a downside, right? And the leper's is that he does probably the most damage in the game, but uh, he misses quite a bit. Okay, hopefully we can finish them off this turn. Nice crit there. That helps. All right. More stuff. Uh, and I do want... I do want those four crests. We haven't used any dog treats yet. Wow. I'm really bad at remembering to use those. I hesitate to throw away the other journal page. We do need to collect them at some point. Um, but I also don't want to throw away my food in case we do get a hunger event. Tough decision. Let's go ahead and get rid of the medicinal herbs. Hopefully we won't run across something immediately that uses them like we just did. So this is one of the things that the herbs are useful for. Uh, if you use herbs on a carcass, um, you can get some, some food out of them. If you do not have herbs and you don't need the food don't touch this thing. It can give you a negative quirk, it can give you a disease, uh, you don't want any part of it. As and you should, you should purchase, only really use an herb on it if you need the food. And if, purpose is made clear. if you don't need the food, just ignore it. And even if you do need the food, you can't get food out of it unless you have the medicinal herb, so... Uh, the way is lit. Oh. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. And there we go. There is our hunger event. So I am glad I saved my food. Very, very smart of me for once. I'm actually pretty good with food, typically. It's uh, it's other resources I tend to be uh, bad at managing. And here is our last room battle. Nice. Let's go ahead and right off the bat use a dog treat. And he gets a buff here. Gives 50% extra damage and 15 accuracy. It's amazing. I just... I'm terrible at using it, clearly. Ooh, that miss. We need the 15% accuracy on the uh, on the leper there. Oh, and another miss. Wow, that was very unlucky. Fortunately, we're plenty healthy. We do have a little bit of stress. There's the attack that causes the slime to appear. Uh, Cytronesis. Watch out for that one. Uh, slimes can be very, very annoying in that way because they will continually regenerate themselves in a combat. Very awkward. Um, he will die next turn. Don't have to worry about him. There we go. Ah, another miss. What is my hit chance here? What am I keep missing at? Uh, 75% chance. Okay. Nice damage there, though. Only one slime left. And our Arbalist is coming up. And she can hit him in that position. Oh, but, uh, he made another one. Because, of course, he did. Executed with impunity. This does let me use a Cry Havoc if I want. Let's, let's reduce a little stress, shall we? No need to have these guys go into, uh, therapy when they get home. And there's the end. But we will continue adventuring Seize for a second. This momentum. Push on to the task's end. 
Might as well try to use a key there, because why not? Okay, some more resources, very nice. And uh, we'll take the rest of it home with us. Driving out corruption is an endless battle, but one that must be fought. Not bad. 5,000 gold-ish. Didn't need those keys and shovels, but you never know. You gotta take them just in case. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Ligophobia. That is not good. Although that just means we can't take uh, her on missions or him on missions. I forget which one it is. Uh, on missions that we are going to go darkness. Not too bad. Manslayer. That's a very nice one. Extra accuracy and crit. Diurnal. Uh, minus two speed. If, uh, if below 26. Again, just can't take him on missions that are... Or we can for that one. It's not too bad. That's pretty bad. Plus four speed on first round, plus five dodge on first round. That's really nice. And quick reflexes is great. Just plus two speed. Can't complain about that at all. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Okay, Quincy recovered his stress. He's now very, very good. Don't have to worry about him anymore. That's that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some of the guys that we just finished with in the uh, in the guild and get their get their skills upgraded. Want that? Want that? Cry uh, Havoc definitely want to upgrade. Whistle would not be terrible to upgrade, but it's not a big deal either. Let's leave it for now and see how our money is doing after we finish this. Definitely want those two upgraded. Don't care too much about uh, having Purge upgraded. We'll probably leave the other two for now. Bring uh, Vabadon in. Definitely want those two upgraded. Definitely want Stunning Blow. We'll leave the other one. And come here, Torment. Sniper Shot, great. Bola's awesome. Blind Fire is great. And we will upgrade Flare, I think. No, we won't. Flare is just as effective at level 1 as it is level 2. There's no reason to. And let's go into the blacksmith. This is where a lot of our money is going to go very quickly. But this is important. This is a, the, the single best thing you can do for your people to help them be effective is level up their weapons and armor. Um, it, it really is important. Uh, we could level up a couple other people's weapons and armor, speaking of. <sighs> yeah, I just don't have the money for it. Ooh, we could uh, upgrade Picvini's weapon again. And Herbert hasn't had any armor upgrades. Let's do that. He's he's due for an armor upgrade. And we'll hold off on the other stuff. Now, I would like to heal Torment. That is a uh, bad debuff that, uh, that he or she has. I'm going to just say she. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Let's go into the Sanitarium. 750. That's not bad. Uh, the worst thing, of course, that they have to sit out for a mission, but that's the way it goes. While we're doing that, is there any, any treatment or any uh, quirks that we would like to get rid of? Slow draw might be nice, but he does have on guard now, so that sort of cancels out. Nothing else really matters on a Vabadon there. How about Moon Moon? Claustrophobia? Not bad. Uh, we'll deal with that. That just means that if we take him to the ruins, he'll try to climb into all the, the, uh, uh, Iron Maidens that we find, which is unfortunate, but, yeah, we'll see. Minus 70% damage on the first round is annoying, but again, not the end of the world. There's much, much worse perks. Let's see if we have any anyone that we really have a terrible perk on. Uh, Demon of Mania is not great. Dud hitters, annoying. Guilty conscience is kind of annoying. Lazy eye is really bad for our Vestal. That is probably what we should do. Lazy eye is, is absolutely terrible for our Vestal. As is uh, Plutomania, she'll steal our money. But it's not as bad as Lazy eye. Lazy eye is really bad. Okay, nothing to there that I care about too much. And nothing there I care about too much. Can't take him to the cove, but that's not the end of the world. 
let's uh let's consider throwing Piccavini in here and seeing if we can get rid of Lazy Eye. Five thousand, yeah. Um, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. In fact, I would like to, but I'm not going to. Twenty percent scouting chance from the Seer Stone. That's nice. Bounty Hunter only, 30% move resist and 20% move skill chance. Okay. We don't have a Bounty Hunter right now. Still don't have a Bounty Hunter, but we did get a new Occultist. Oh, Scattering is so bad for Occultists, though. All of their skills are ranged, except for uh, Sacrificial Stab. Oh, but they have Natural Eye, so that cancels. All right, I, I care less then. I would like him to get rid of that on him, though. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's grab this occultist. To fight the abyss, one must know it. And this is our first uh, option for a jester. We'll never drink. No big deal. Quick draw is great. I would like a jester. Let's take the jester. He will be laughing still at the end. Don't want that. I mean, he's got some stuff wrong with him. Uh, I definitely don't want that guy. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm glad we got a Jester finally. That's really, really nice. I'm considering throwing Lovett just straight into the Sanitarium before this gets locked in. Uh, before it gets locked in, it's only 1,500 to remove. Afterwards, it's 5,000. Let's get rid of it right now. Uh, in the Jester, I'm very, very happy to have a Jester finally. I like Jesters. Not one of my favorite classes, but they can be very, very useful, and they're great for the middle two slots. Harvest, as you can see, hits the middle two people on the enemy team, causes a decent bleed with a little bit of low damage. Dirk Stab moves him forward and gives him 20% damage. Interesting. A solo gives uh, extra damage and extra speed to himself. What I really like Jester's for, though, is Inspiring Tune. Stress minus 10, minus 10% stress on that target, and gives himself... 20% extra damage. Really nice stress reduction. And Battle Ballad is the other one I really like. Battle the target, or about buff the target by 3 speed, 5 accuracy, and 2 crit, and give yourself 20% damage. You basically make everyone on your team better while making yourself do more damage. It's really interesting and, uh, and very, very powerful. Yep. I basically like everything Jesters have. Is there anything particular here I want to switch out? I like Harvest. Harvest is really good. I like Slice Off. I generally prefer Inspiring Tune uh, over most things. I don't want to move him forward most of the time, so we'll probably leave Dirk Stab off. Finale can only be used in the front, uh, so we'll probably stay away from that. You can make a very interesting uh, Jester that's purely focused on the first rank, but it's a little finicky. I think we'll probably keep what he has. The only thing I would consider changing is uh, adding Battle Ballad in exchange for maybe Solo, but that means he can only be in the third slot as opposed to the second and third slot. So I, I kind of do like him in this having the flexibility of second or third slot, so we'll leave him where he is. And he probably can't uh, level up yet. He shouldn't be able to, no. Excellent. All right, well, we have that for next time. Um, good, good, good. I'm happy with this. Okay, hopefully uh, you guys liked that episode. We had a very successful one, if a, if a little bit of a, of a minor mission there. We'll try to do something a little bit longer, perhaps, next time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please put a like on the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. Both those things, let me know if you would like to see more of Darkest Dungeon. I hope you do. Uh, also, please feel free to... Uh, comment on these videos. Just say whatever you like. Um, I'm always looking to interact with you guys, and uh, any advice or commentary or um, something you liked, something you didn't like, uh, all of that is very, very helpful, and uh, shows me that you are enjoying the video as well. Thank you for those of you that do um, reply on a regular basis. I, I really look forward every time I log into the computer uh, to check my comments and see and see who has been uh, been talking to me. Been talking to me. With that said, thank you again very much for watching, and I will see you next time.